No! Hello everybody, I'm Flamous Soul, and I welcome you back to Titanfall 2's campaign. Before we get started, remember that if at any point you find yourself enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, right there in the cards, as well as down in the description, you can find a link to the playlist. And if you're in the description, you can also find a link to the Discord. So let's get right into this. Major Anderson went this way. It could be a shortcut to the rendezvous point. I recommend we proceed. I don't like shortcuts, BT. I really don't like shortcuts. So today, um... What is this place? What are we doing here, BT? Oh, we wrong one. We must proceed through this facility and continue to the rendezvous point with Major Anderson. It is our only chance of survival. What is this place? Accessing files. Unknown. Oh, I should probably let y'all see the faces. Gain is not responding. I think our militia pilot's trying to be a hero. He's got to be headed your way. Kill him. Understood. Ash out. Who's Blisk? He is a war criminal, wanted by the militia, commonly employed by the IMC. Blisk was responsible for the death of my previous pilot, Captain Lastimosa. Alright, so today's topic is stories, and how when writing a story, at some point, no matter how hard you try, the, the story leaves your control. There is a point... Ooh! Don't know what's going on there, but I don't like... Oh, okay. There just becomes a point where no matter what you do, the story has spiraled out of your control. You are no longer the god of your own world. You are merely the observer whose position is to inform others of what happens in the world that you originally created. And I find that interesting, that no matter how hard we try, there just, there is a point where you cannot continue to control everything in your story, because at some point you are bound by the rules that you have placed in your own world. You are... Okay. I got crushed. Whether you are bound because you've already said one thing or another, or you have created world uh, rules in your own world that the thing you want to say will no longer permit you to say. You, regardless of what it is, at some point while making these stories, while writing, while doing whatever... Hostile Titan in sight, engaging. Don't want to get caught by the brute, got it. Did I, I- I don't know if I completed the sentence. Or you're bound because you've said something in the past that no longer makes what you want to say at this moment in your story, it's no longer possible for that to be true, for whatever it is to be true. You cannot say that, because... It is... You are... You already said something that contradicts that. And... I find this interesting, that at the beginning of writing a new story, a new project, you, you start as the god of your world. You, you, but as time progresses, you become something different. You are no longer... 
you are no longer the sole creator and god of your own world. You must follow the rules and observe how the world moves forward under those rules. Of course, you can maintain your position as the sole god, but do you truly want to? Do you truly want to know every little way that your story is going to progress forwards? Or do you want to see s just how your characters would become without your input? Like, how they would move forward without you? Stop suggesting shortcuts. Good idea. Thank you, pilot. I I, I I hit the wrong button again. It was not a good idea. Another shortcut is what I wanted to say. I've wanted this. I've wanted this for quite some time. So I have to get over there. BT, I hate your shortcuts. We cannot proceed through this facility without the cargo lift. I am marking your HUD with the location of the controls. I really hate this idea. Do I need to stay there to do this? Probably should stay there. I'm gonna go out there. Of course. Kappa 3 on route. Out. Pilot. I cannot free myself. Cooper. I'm I'm coming after you, BT. Not that it was uh, like of course I I knew that shortcuts were a bad idea, but mm -hmm. Unable to break free from manipulator arm. Action initiating attempt number 35. Failed. Status unable to break through from manipulator arm. Action initiating attempt number 36. Of course. Pilot. Pilot. I need assistance. Looks like the automated security in this place is picking up tight. That's the one for us. You know, they, they had to make it somehow is that uh, you would have some sort of combat outside of uh, it, Titans. So, it does make sense that they'd continuously remove you from the Titan, but I, I, I'm not a massive fan of, of how they do it. And I, I ran into this very quickly with my own story. I Originally, there was a, a goal I wanted to accomplish with the story. I'm being taken to this facility substation. I'm chasing you. Yeah. This was supposed to be a shortcut, BT. Perhaps Lastimosa was right. No plan survives first contact. BT, how do I get to you? You must follow the pipes to the lower levels. Warning, losing contact. Well, I, I was going to do that anyways. In my own story, originally I started with a particular goal in mind, and then almost as soon as I started writing, things shifted outside of my control. I'm gonna keep the Spitfire. And the Mozambique I've wanted to have uh, for a while. I like the Mozambique. Slisk, this is Ash. I have a Vanguard class Titan. What would you like me to do with it? And I bloody care. Destroy it. What about its pilot? He is being dealt with. This facility was built to kill. I'm sure I can take advantage of that fact if I have to. Ash, that place is not your bloody playground. I'm not paying you to be clever. You scuttle that place if you have to, eh? 
Let's go. Pilot, I being taken down an assembly line. There may be a common exit. I recommend you follow the flow of the platforms. Pilot, this facility is extremely dangerous. Watch for crushing hazards on the assembly line. Why was this place built to kill? Like, that's the part that I'm curious about. What made them want to build this place to... Li oh, crushing hazards. Got it. What made them want to build this place to kill things? Also, he's telling her not to use it as her playground, right? Okay, you die. Get the fuck out of my way. Okay. Hi. Who's shooting at me? He's telling her not to use it as a playground, but he's also saying scuttle the place if uh, if she has to, which basically means, if I remember correctly, scuttle is essentially destroy, like give up on and, and destroy in a way that whoever you're running from can't get a hold of what you're after or of what you have. Who's shooting at me? Oh, die. Ow. Alrighty. Yeah, even in my own story, I originally, I started with particular series of events in mind a particular world and everything but as soon as I started trying to convey that story things changed and the story became something that I no longer recognized it was no longer my original project it was something else And I didn't take issue with that. I I let the world change and I let it become something new because I felt that it would become something better if I let it happen. But fighting it would do me no good because it would happen eventually regardless. Would y'all stop shooting at me? Okay, I, I, I guess I deserved that. But of course, I could have continued to fight it and continued to keep the, the story as the original work, the original characters and everything. But I suspected that if I had continued to do that, then the story would suffer for it. I, whether I would lose motivation for it or I wouldn't enjoy my world as much as I do now. I couldn't tell. So instead, I... I gave up my position as the god of creation in this world. I let myself just become, as I said, the observer. I let myself lose what control I had over the world. Pilot, I'm being taken through an area stocked with prefabricated structures. We are not far apart. Keep moving. Yeah, what in the hell are they building here? Now, is that propaganda or is that the truth? I suspect a portion of truth is, is buried there because that, that's the best type of propaganda is the one with, the, with a portion of truth. Okay, I need you to die. I need that tick to die. So at this point, even in my own story, I am not the sole control. I, I do... Okay, I just blew myself up.
that <laughs> that was fair. <gasps> no! <laughs> I it obviously I am still the reason the story exists. I am I cannot say that I am not, but I do not make every decision completely of my own way of thinking in the story. I, every decision in the story is now made by the characters themselves, even if the characters' lives technically only exists in my mind. So I believe I have to go out there. So we're gonna we're gonna follow this. I don't know where it's gonna put us though. Okay. Yeah. No. It it, it looks like they're fabricating some sort of like research facility of some kind. So. At some point, I, I have to say, in my opinion, the story is, is you lose control of your story. It spirals out of the realm of what you originally intended. It reaches a point where you can no longer tell where it is going to end because you have already laid the groundwork and now the story will progress in whatever way it is supposed to. And you are merely the messenger to deliver that to the people who read your story. So, my question to you all with this topic is, when did you lose control of your story? At what point were you no longer the god of the world you created? When did you become merely an observer? to the world in the book that you began. Because for me, it was... It was very quickly after I began actually writing the story in a way that other people could see what it is that I was writing. I very quickly lost control of what I had created and was no longer the sole decision maker when it came to how things would progress. But for some, they never give up that control. They never let the story progress beyond what they intended. Pretty sure I'm supposed to ride this over there. Some authors and writers and such, they never let the sp story spiral beyond what they believe they are capable of controlling. Because they feel that if they let that moment happen, they won't be able to deliver the story in a acceptable manner because they are no longer the one in control. They are someone... They are someone very similar to you in the position of the reader. And personally, I enjoy being in that position. I enjoy l losing the the ability to just dictate everything that happens in my in my story. I got blown up by a tick. I hate ticks. I hate ticks. And, in my opinion, it's, it's, there's no wrong moment. There is no wrong decision about this. It is acceptable to let any of this happen, whether it is... Yeah, I think these are some sort of training facility or military base fabrication, because all of them are identical. 
Um. Barely. That was a meat grinder. You okay? I'm undamaged. However, I do not believe this is a food processing plant. Ah. Uh. My luck. This place is gonna turn itself inside out. Or upside down, considering the circumstances. That was a they, okay. So I, I mentioned before that I can't tell if BT is is one of those semi sentient AIs or just a uh, a processing unit with a voice. One of the tests for that is a sense of humor. I don't agree with having to go up. I don't like having to go up. Pilot, scans indicate the dome above is your best course of action to find an exit. I recommend getting there by any means necessary. The dome oh. is still waiting. Rest assured, I will not execute you summarily. You have that word. I'm coming, I'm coming! You're weird. <laughs> horizontal things which i'm pretty sure there was a yeah that's a that's a that's a card strapped to this that's really bizarre hitch a ride to the the room, the dome above. I will take it from here. No, you won't, because I missed the platform. Well done, I will take it from here. So, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't like you, lady, because I'm pretty sure this is some sort of like, either training ground or. A oh, a game of some kind. Game is absolutely close to my assumption at the moment. Oh shit! I just did it again. Yeah, this is absolutely some sort of a uh, simulation grounds because he did mention simulation. And they they slide together really neatly. Like that that is that's not normal. <laughs> Buildings don't slide together that well. Scenario one two seven in dynamic simulation dome three one four. Yeah, dam dynamic simulation dome. We shall see how impressive you truly are. I'm gonna beat the shit out of everything you send my way. Because I may not be the god of my story, but I am the protagonist of this story. And I'm gonna beat the shit out of your enemies. Your simulated enemies. I'm gonna switch out first. Let's flatline. Delivering militia test subjects. Test subjects? Scenario 127, load complete. Let us begin. Deploying sectors. Oh, so these are my guys. Pilot, your heart rate is accelerating. Are you in distress? <laughs> uh, you could say that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll get right on it. Yeah, maybe, eventually. Please don't contact me again until I'm done beating the shit out of these robots. Why do they have to be robots? Robots don't feel pain. I don't like that. I 
I saw them being loaded on the assembly line. Your tactics are impressive. I'm sure the IMC will find a high deploy a few more units. Deploying additional units. So I need to find something that's big and bad that can take out those things. Need this. Yeah, nope. No can't do. I, I Like I said, I'm the protagonist of this story. I don't give up that easy. Okay, this thing's empty. Uh, guess I'm just switching out for an L-Star. Finally took out that big beauty. Um Yeah. I think I pissed her off, BT. You will have to explain that expression later. Get out of there while you can. I have detected an opening in the outer wall. Marking your HUD. I'm gonna have to say that you really did miscalculate. You threw the protagonist into an enclosed space, which is uh, a big no when it comes to uh, Villain 101. Mission regroup with Pilot Cooper, find Major Anderson, status unable to break free from manipulator arm, and in initiating attempt 63, failed. Revaluating definition of shortcut. Thank you, BT. This is not a shortcut. What do you got to say? Ash, tell me you killed that pilot. I am dealing with him. Stop getting caught up in your games. Am I not allowed to enjoy myself while I work? Not when your work suffers. Point taken. Ash out. Don't worry. With the price I'm putting on his head, you can buy all the toys you want. Sector 4 Charlie. Detonate charges 21 through 29. To all IMC personnel, this is Ash. I am sorry to report due to your inability to contain the security breach. I have been forced to scuttle the entire complex. Some of you may consider this overkill. It is. I suggest you evacuate immediately. I love how she immediately notes, yes, it is, oh, in, in fact, overkill. And, I, uh, it's like, yep, it's overkill, but I do not care. BT's up there. Good to Pilot, know. I do not know what you did, but a series of explosions just weakened the manipulator arm. I have broken free. Okay, thank you. That's good to know. I'm a beat the shit out of uh, out of this. I suggest we leave. You are not far from my location. Marking your HUD. I'm not far from your location, but I literally just blew myself up. Okay. Okay. Hey BT, I came to your rescue. Vanguard class Titan spotted. Moving to engage. 
Yep, nope. I'm gonna have to say no to that. Yep, check my HUD. All right, who are we fighting? All right, let's go. Show me the enemy. Oh God, it, it, it's super, like now that I think about it, it's super violent to squish them like that. Hello, Ash. Put a high price on your head, pilot. Dead or alive, that makes you worth something to me. And to me, you are worth everything but. You're worth everything else. I'm sorry, but I had to. Security lockdown disengaged. Surface access is authorized. Pilot, the security lockdown has been disengaged. I recommend we leave through the tunnel. BT, this shortcut sucked. Yeah. You think? Our journey through IMC Dynamic Testing Facility was supposed to be a shortcut through some difficult terrain, but it wasn't a very good one. No more shortcuts. We've arrived at the rendezvous coordinates for Major Anderson. All we have to do is find him and get some answers. What happens after that is anybody's guess. Let's see. What do we get? Effect and cause. Arriving at Anderson Rally Point. Pilot, Major Anderson is here. Investigate this facility. I will meet you on the other side. Don't get captured again, BT. I will avoid all shortcuts. <laughs> all right. That's good to know. Well, guys, that is going to have to be it for today and I so I'd like to know have you ever experienced that moment in writing where you realized you were no longer in complete control of what you were writing you were more of an observer than a creator you had to just accept that you did not control every detail of your story because if you did there would be errors that could not be rectified or have you always maintained full control over the world you create in stories? Because some people do that. I don't know any authors off the top of my head who do it because, well, I it's not something a lot of people talk about. But if if you're one of them, let me know. If you're not, if you're in the same group as me where you lost control of your story and it just shifts underneath your fingertips... Put that down in the comments as well. And if you haven't already, make sure to subs to leave a like as well as subscribe if you haven't already so that you will be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. And come join us in the Discord, guys. I, I do hope you all enjoyed. If you <laughs> and remember, guys, smile. Because even if you don't control your entire story, you're still the reason it exists, right? Hope you all enjoyed, and I've been a flameless soul, So, and I wish you all a good day. Goodbye, guys.